Eric Salinas is this month's military hero. Salinas joined the military in 2007 and was deployed three times to Iraq and Afghanistan. The Bloomington native had just graduated from Faith Academy and moved to San Marcos with some aspirations to play baseball for Texas State University when a recruiter offered him a ride to the river one day that fateful summer. I was actually going to go float down the river, San Marcos River, and a recruiter stopped by and he's like, hey, do you need a ride? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? He's like, hey, you want to join the military? And I was like, I always wanted to, so let's do it. <laughs> Salinas worked as an engineer in the military and worked on construction projects and identifying where any potential improvised explosive devices or IEDs may be. Got hit a few times, you know, and no one's perfect, so got blown up a couple of times. To this day, there is no cartilage left in his right shoulder. Uh, they never brought up, the VA never brought up anything about any kind of surgery or nothing like that. Although he says he now has steady work thanks to his experience gained in the military, Selena says he misses the military service. It's just a feeling like, like being home is like still to this day, like I, I, I think about being deployed all the time. Like I still wish I would be there. Like even though it was horrible, like to me that was life, like. It's the camaraderie like, that I miss. Although the troops are being pulled out of the area by the Biden administration, Salina says he's confident the U.S. will continue to have a presence in the Middle East. Things could change. I mean, you never know how the president is or what his actual intentions are. He might pull everybody back home. Like, I mean, which I don't think that would be very smart. But as long as we have a strong point, or a presence in that area for the meantime, which it would be very good. To nominate a military hero, come to CrossroadsToday.com. We want to hear from you. Thank you to Eric Salinas and all military veterans out there for the sacrifices made for our freedoms as Americans. Carolina Astrain, KVU-TV, 25 News Now.